Hey guys, it's Matt here with 1HP and today I'm going to help you guys understand a little more about pain on the back side of the thumb along where the wrist is. If you guys are smashers and you feel pain in this area after spamming a lot of net play, you're not alone because this is one of the most common pain patterns or injuries in the smash community. And it's something I call Falcon Thumb. And I hope you guys get that. but. While it's something that's very common in the Smash community because of how much we move between the X, A, Y, and the C stick buttons, moving between those fares, nares, bears, we, or I have absolutely seen this in the PC gaming community as well. So it's not only limited to Smash players. So if you guys are here and you have pain in this area, you're in the right place. I'm gonna be explaining a little more about the source of the pain why it happens, so some of the causes, and three easy steps that you guys can take to manage or prevent this from happening. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, here we go. We have Falcon Thumb. And before we get into the actual details of it, I do have to talk about something that's very important, and that is repetitive strain. And I wanna talk about it because it's the most common type of injury in gaming. And what happens is basically our tissues can't adapt to the repeated button mashing, mouse clicking, mouse moving, keyboard pressing over time, so it breaks down. And in my experience, it makes up 90% of the injuries that we treat or that are present in gaming. Because the reality is that we're not running up and down a court uh, with a chance of running into people, colliding, landing in the wrong way. Instead, we're sitting or holding our bodies up against gravity, performing the same cyclical pattern of movements over and over you know whether it be the game controller or the keyboard and mouse is shown uh, more performing high actions per minute compared to the individual working the sedentary job and of course there's those clutch situations and stressful situations in competitive gaming but we can actually do very simple things to prevent these injuries but it means we have to understand how our bodies work and as I've described in one of my articles that I'm going to be linking in the description we should think of our muscles and tendons as having overheating mechanics. Every time we press A, B, Z, trigger, uh, moving the C stick, in Smash, our muscles and tendons steadily overheat, with overheating representing tissue irritation or tissue strain. And what's great is that we can do things to reduce the rate at which our muscles or tendons overheat, like better posture or ergonomics. And on the flip side, we can also do things to have it cool down more quickly. So stretching, massage, ice, kinesio tape, medication, um, those all act to help it cool down. And what's the most important for us to understand is the size of the meter, right? The size represents the endurance of our muscles and tendons. Our ability to tolerate repeated stresses for long periods of time is associated with endurance. So. That basically means we can perform specific exercises that I'm going to be showing you guys later um, to improve our endurance and basically play for longer with less pain. So I know that blew your guys' mind, but let's finally get into Falcon Thumb. So I think the first question we have to answer is what is Falcon Thumb? And the answer is it is a tendon issue. It's a common but deadly pattern and it affects the tendons on the thumb side of the wrist. And as I mentioned above, it's an overuse injury of the tendon. We move our thumb back and forth a little too much across these buttons of AX and uh, C stick or A, B and C stick to the point of tissue strain which causes pain. And medically it's a form of tendinopathy and is closely related to the Quervain's tenosynovitis. But don't worry about that, just worry about the tendinopathy. Pain occurs as we overuse the tendons in our thumb and we move it in the direction of extension. And I'm gonna be showing you guys, so here I am. Um, the extension is when you move from here to here. Move from out. This is flexion, this is extension moving out, 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 out. And that's important to us, right, when we're holding this, because if we move from B to X or A to X or C stick to X, we're actually moving extension and you can kind of see mu those muscles turn on-ish. Bye. And 
typically with overuse. Tendons often thicken and have a local inflammatory response, which can cause the protective sheath that surrounds it to rub against the sheath of others that are close to it, and that can create a little more inflammation and pain in this area. So to help you guys understand a little more about the source of the pain, I want to show you guys where they're at. It's two of the muscles there, right here, the extensor pollicis brevis and extensor pollicis longus. That shouldn't really mean much to you, but again, they're responsible for moving the thumb in the direction of extension. And as I showed you guys earlier, that's really relevant to us, right? When we're moving between X and A or B and A, we're actually moving in our thumb into extension, so we're using that a lot. The next question that typically follows this is, what are we going to feel? Um, and I want to really make sure that you guys actually have a falcon thumb. So it's likely that you have this issue if you feel the pattern of pain in the area shown. But if you feel pain in that area and tendon injuries behave in a specific pattern, you might feel some of the uh, pain in the area shown. You might feel pain, tenderness, uh, warmth, aching, and sometimes a little sharp, but it's typically after the injury or several hours into the activity. So recently, one of the pros that I worked with told me, yeah, roughly around two to three hours into play, I start to feel a little bit of warmth. I feel a little bit ache, a little bit of achiness there. And he also told me you might feel that it gets better during play, right? But it's always worse for hours and days after the activity. And typically with tendon injuries, you also feel it after, or you also feel stiffness in the morning. So another way you guys can confirm that you guys have this issue is it's a special test we do in the clinic, but if you grab your thumb with the rest of your fingers and bend the wrist down towards the ground, oof, you might feel it a little bit there. Um, but it, it provides us with a higher index of suspicion for this type of injury. So you guys can perform that test and um, again, you grab it, boom, bring your wrist down, you can keep your elbow straight and you should feel your pain there. Um, yeah, and while it's rare, you know, you might feel some burning or numbness, although it does not, it shouldn't last long. Um, so there are four big reasons why falcon thumb or thumb pain in gaming occurs. And one of the most common reasons for not only falcon thumb, but most injuries in gaming is purely related to how long we play. So our lifestyle, are we playing for you know, six hours on end without taking rest or breaks, or are we stretching in between some of our downtime within games after we die or during loading times? Basically, are we giving our muscles and tendons a chance to cool down, as I mentioned earlier? So when it's not one of these reasons, it's due to actual physical limitations of our bodies. So things like mobility and endurance are often contributing factors to pain in the thumb. And what I mean by mobility is that if we don't have as much motion on our thumb, inflection, also known as moving our thumb towards the base of the pinky, when we have to perform uh, movements in our thumb that are relatively far, so from X to the C stick for like a fair or dare, it places extra stress on that tendon. And that causes to break down more easily. So let me show you guys a little bit again. Basically, when you guys have to extend or reach a little far for a flick, for a fair or bear, if you don't have as much motion in this direction, it puts a little extra stress on those tendons and that causes it to fatigue and eventually break down or get irritated more quickly. So in addition to that, um, when we don't have as much endurance with those muscles, those specific muscles that move in extension, too much stress gets placed on the tendon and again, it breaks down or becomes irritated. Thirdly, it always comes back to posture and ergonomics. When we are in a better position from our shoulder down to our hands, our muscles are in a more optimal position and they work better there. So they take longer to fatigue and with every action, they don't have to, or they don't overheat as much. So always kind of referencing back to that image or idea of overheating. And lastly, it's specifically to relating to playing smash, right? It's called Balkan thumb because it's related to overuse of those thumb muscles when you move quickly between the A, the X, Y buttons and the C stick. And this is especially true for players who use X to jump. 
Falcon players who use the C stick to again perform dares, up bears, fares, bears all have to move quickly between those two buttons. And every time you move in the direction of X from these buttons, you are using the muscles we described earlier. The extensor pulses, the longest and brightest. So that is why and how it happens. Let's finally get into the meat of it. Here is our 1 HP medkit, the three step approach to managing or preventing this type of injury. Three steps. So for management of injuries in gaming, we utilize what I call the POP approach, which stands for prevention, optimal loading, and pain management. And we're gonna be jumping into each of them. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you think you have falcon thumb or you do have pain at this part of your wrist or thumb, because you spam too much net play and you wanna learn a little more about our three step approach, you guys are in luck because I wanna share with you guys our free video series to show you guys quick methods to reduce your pain. But most importantly, I want you guys to learn strategies to make sure it doesn't come back ever again. So if you guys want to learn more, check out the link in the description and I hope to see you guys again in some of our future content. Thank you so much.